Section. Introduction. In this section, we explored how large language models, LLMs, like GPT-4 and Gemini have transformed artificial intelligence, I, by excelling in language tasks such as understanding, generating text, translating, and programming. However, these models still face challenges in reasoning, which is crucial for solving complex problems and developing advanced intelligence. Many efforts have been made to improve the reasoning of LLMs, including using different approaches like prompt engineering and auxiliary reasoning tools. But these methods often require additional designs and data, leading to inconsistencies and high costs. To enhance ILM's reasoning more efficiently, self-improvement methods have gained attention. These methods use the model's own language abilities to enhance generated data quality. However, they rely on high-quality question queries and may reinforce incorrect biases in the model. To address these issues, we propose a self-reasoning improvement method inspired by AlphaGo Zero, where LLMs can enhance their reasoning through self-play. We introduce an adversarial language game called Adversarial Taboo, where an attacker tries to make the defender say a target word without them realizing it. By playing this game with different target words, we can improve LLM reasoning across various topics. We conduct self-play of this game using LLMs like Llama 2-7B and Baichuan 2-13B, leading to significant performance improvements in reasoning benchmarks. This novel training approach, self-play from adversarial language game, SPAG, shows promise in advancing LLM capabilities. Section Summary In this section, we explore the challenges in enhancing the reasoning ability of large language models, LLMs, like GPT-4 and Gemini, crucial for advanced problem-solving and intelligence development. Various methods, including prompt engineering and auxiliary tools, have been used, but they often require additional prompt designs and high-quality textual data, leading to significant human annotation costs. To address this efficiently, Self-improvement methods using model-generated synthetic data have gained attention, although they still rely on high-quality question queries and may reinforce existing biases in LLMs. Section. Self-play of adversarial language games. In this section, we introduce the concept of adversarial taboo, a game where an attacker and a defender engage in a conversation. The attacker is given a target word that the defender is unaware of, and the goal is to make the defender say the target word without realizing it. The defender, on the other hand, must figure out the target word without saying it unconsciously. If the defender correctly identifies the word, they win, otherwise, the attacker wins. The game has a set number of turns, and if there is no winner by the end of these turns, it results in a tie. We model the adversarial taboo game as a two-player zero-sum Markov game. The game is defined by a tuple containing the state space, action space, transition function, and reward function. The state space consists of states representing the dialogue between the players, starting with the target word and ending after a certain number of turns. The action space includes all possible token sequences in natural language. The transition function updates the state based on the player's actions, and the reward function evaluates the actions taken by the players in each state. During a game episode, the attacker's total reward is the sum of rewards obtained throughout the game, while the defender's total reward is the negative of the attacker's total reward in this zero-sum game. The attacker and defender have their own policies for making decisions during the game. Each game episode can be seen as a sample from a specific distribution. The objective of the adversarial language self-play is to engage in the adversarial taboo game using a language generation policy. Prompt templates are designed for the attacker and defender to convert game states into natural language descriptions. The game policies for both players are then introduced to guide their actions during the game. For more detailed information on reward designs and heuristic rules for the adversarial taboo game, please refer to the appendix. Section Summary. In the adversarial taboo game, an attacker aims to make a defender say a target word without directly mentioning it, while the defender must guess the word without saying it. 
This game is modeled as a two-player zero-sum Markov game with a maximum number of turns, where the players take turns speaking based on prompt templates designed for each player. The objective is for the attacker and defender to play this adversarial game using language generation policies to achieve their respective goals. Section. Imitation Learning. In this section, we need to ensure that our language model, LLM, follows the game rules correctly. Before we start the self-play learning phase, we use imitation learning to train the LLM to behave according to the game rules. We gather game examples from the self-plays of GPT-4 and split them into sets where the attacker wins and where the defender wins. The goal of imitation learning is to make sure that the actions of the winners align with the game rules. After imitation learning, we move on to self-play using reinforcement learning. The LLM takes turns playing as the attacker and the defender. Self-play involves generating a lot of text, which can be computationally intensive. To address this, we use an offline learning approach where we copy the current LLM policy, collect self-play examples, and update the policy through reinforcement learning. During self-play, we focus on optimizing the performance of the attacker and defender separately. We calculate the policy gradient for the attacker and defender to improve their strategies. To prevent the model from overfitting, we include a regularizer in the learning process. However, training instability can occur due to negative advantage values and exposure bias. To address this, we select episodes with positive rewards for the attacker and negative rewards for the defender for training. This helps improve the effectiveness of the training process and ensures that the language model learns to play the game better. Section Summary In this section, we ensure that the language model, LLM, follows game rules by using imitation learning before self-play. The self-play process involves the LLM playing as both attacker and defender alternatively, with offline learning to update the policy through reinforcement learning. To address training instability, we select episodes with positive rewards for attackers and negative rewards for defenders, optimizing the self-play of adversarial language games, SPAG, objective. Section. Experiments. In this section, we conducted experiments to assess the effectiveness of SPAG. We chose various open-source pre-trained LLMs of different sizes and sources, such as Llama 2-7B and Baichuan 2-13B. Our evaluation criteria included reasoning benchmarks and gameplay win rates between different self-play checkpoints and GPT-4. For the experimental setups, we divided the training data preparation into three parts. Firstly, we aim to play an adversarial game using a wide range of target words to enhance the ILM's performance. We collected the 50,000 most commonly used words from the corpus of contemporary American, COCA, as the target word set, filtering out stop words. Secondly, we gathered imitation learning data to improve the instruction following ability of LLMs. Thirdly, we prepared supervised fine tuning data to prevent overfitting on the adversarial game. To evaluate the ILM's performance, we considered reasoning benchmarks and game win rates. The reasoning benchmarks included various tests to assess the ILM's reasoning ability, while the game win rates were calculated based on performance in a testing vocabulary set. In terms of training details, we followed specific setups for imitation learning, SPAG training, and supervised fine tuning. We used different learning rates and penalty coefficients for each training stage, maintaining consistency in batch size and sequence length. The results of our experiments showed improvements in reasoning performance for both Llama 2-7B and Baichuan 2-13B after imitation learning in SPAG training epics. The SPAG models demonstrated enhanced reasoning abilities compared to the baseline models, with consistent improvements in most benchmarks. Furthermore, we conducted an ablation study to determine the impact of the SFT data and SPAG method on reasoning improvements. The results indicated that the self-play and reinforcement learning scheme significantly contributed to the enhancements in reasoning benchmarks. Additionally, we evaluated the ILM's performance as game players by testing win rates against GPT-4 and each other.
The SPAG models showed continuous improvement in win rates, demonstrating the effectiveness of the SPAG training approach.